um, Photopy is um, a website basically or let's see majorly used for creating mock-up though the website is like a let's, it's a website version of Photoshop so that's what Photopy is it's not an app it's a website but you might end up seeing apps on Photopy on Google Play Store or it will still take you to the web page so just make sure that the website don't bother downloading the app because there's no official app for it so all you need to do is go to your Google Chrome. Preferably you use Chrome Chrome. You can use any other search engine, but I prefer you use Chrome. So photo P. So once it's loaded, you load the page. So once the page is loaded, go another good thing is this you can switch off your data as websites can work without data connection. So then you tap open from computer. That is you want to select the mock up you want to work on. So let me select the mock up. So once you tap on the mock up, you the mock up are usually in PSD folder. So if you have selected the correct file, it will load. Now you can see we have our mock up already. Now the next thing we need to do is to edit the layers of the mock up so we can put in our own logo and delete the logo already put, um, on it. So to do that, you tap on the layer icon here. So now you have all your layers. You can see your logo. This way, your logo is meant to be. But to put your logo in here, you tap on layer here. You see smart objects. And you tap on open smart objects so now it has opened the next thing you need to do is to place your own logo on this layer so you tap on file you tap on so could this now you tap on file you tap on open and place so you select the logo you want to place on that mock-up so you look for a logo So you select the logo you want to place on the mock-up. So it loads. Then you can either hide the okay, you can either hide the logo already kept there or you delete it using this button down here. You can see this one here. So then we need to edit our logo because it's kind of small. Look at it. Okay, I'm doing it. It's, oh sorry, I um deleted the wrong thing so to um go back to what you have done that's probably you made a mistake in what you were doing as i've done you tap on the hisa so history so you could, let's start let's see placing smart objects so you can see it has taken you to step by step as, as an undo button so in case you make mistakes so let's continue so now you have your logo here so to move this logo to centralize you tap on this yes yeah, so then you move the logo let's see. now we move it as a central so also I want us to lock, you can see this the uh, logo here. I want us to delete it. So just tap on it and tap on this bucket icon here, delete edit. So now you have your own logo here. You can decide to increase the size of your logo. To do that, you tap on edit, then transform, then scale, then you adjust it. So now after adjusting, you tap on it again, then you move it to the center. Move it to the to the center. So let me see. Okay, yeah, it's at the center now. Then you need to what save that your own logo as a smart object. You tap on file. And you say save smart objects. So once you tap on it, it's already loading. Do it. You won't see any sign, but it's loading. But once it's finished loading, you see a pop up that says smart objects updated. You can see smart object updated. Then all you need to do is tap on this, tap on the first layer, this 3D glass, whatever. So once you tap on it, it loads your mock up. Now, this is what you are now. Before that, the kind of mock up you know, normally the mock up is facing the other direction. So to rectify this, you need to rotate your logo to the left. If you are, you are loading a normal mock up, once you are done with this, the whole process is complete. But because the mock up I downloaded is facing the left hand side, so you need to make a little editing to your logo. So at your layer icon here, yeah, the smart object, you open it as you have done before, it's still the same process. Then here, where you edit it, then you transform, then you flip horizontally. So once you look at that, let's see, as it loads, it doesn't. Let's do that again to future transform. Let's see. I'm trying to rotate the size transform. 
and yeah so now this is what we have so once let's see with our smart subject again so it's loading once it loads When you tap on the 3D glass now you have your lower logo back and for you to download the more copy you've created just tap on file it's export as there are different ways you can export your low and whatever you've created so let's type it as jpeg jpeg and increase the quality when you tap on save you tap on save so now it's downloaded so you can open it up and check what you have so you can see you have your logo already so the reason why i did what i did about the rotation flipping horizontally was because of the kind of mock-up if you're familiar with this kind of mock-up you would agree with me that it's usually facing the other side but this one is facing the left hand side so that's why i had to transform or rotate the logo so that's all i'm using photopy it's just like website version of photoshop if you're familiar with photoshop you see these are the same layers of photoshop just that it's not really stable but you could still work some a few things with it